What's up, everybody? Happy Monday. Hope all you're having a great day so far today. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, getting into this episode, GH, I, you know, maybe Jocelyn felt like she froze when she tried to help Christina, but watching that episode, she definitely didn't look like she was freezing. Like, she sprung into action to help her. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, she seemed like she was a natural at it. You know, the way she was just telling Gio, like, oh, put the board under here. Do it this way. And then I'm going to put her this way. Like, the way she did it, that's what, that was some natural stuff she was doing. I was like, oh, <laughs> you know what you're doing. Maybe she should get into the medical field. Because at one point, wasn't her major, like, wasn't she going to go to medical school? But then I guess she changed her mind because it was too much or whatever the case. She seemed like a natural to me. So I think she might want to change her mind again and go back into medicine. Because she seemed like that might be actually, you know, her field. Like, it might be her calling, maybe. As far as her and Dex, I'm still not interested in them as a couple. I'm sorry. I'm just not. <laughs> like, I'm just not. I'm watching them and I'm just like, yeah, I don't see it. Y'all not moving nothing for me. Like, when I see them together trying to be all lovey-dovey, it, it ain't doing nothing for me. Um, I don't see no spark. That's just me. But um, anyway, moving on from that, I am so glad Anna finally put her foot down as a commissioner for once. And I think she made the right call in taking, in taking Dante out that room. And I'm glad that she's, you know, taking him off this case entirely because it's a conflict of interest for him to even be talking to Ava about this case, for him to be working it. It's a conflict. And I'm glad she removed him because no, 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 no. Because if y'all do find something that would incriminate Ava... It could get tossed out. Scott could easily get that tossed out because of Dante being on the case. He could argue so many different things to get that shit suppressed or get it thrown out of court. Like, no, he can get that evidence tossed immediately. So I think it's the best interest to let Chase handle this, seeing as how he's not related to her. He's not related to Christina. Um, Ava was pissing me off. I was like, Ava, you my boo. I love you. I love you to pieces. You my girl. But what the hell? Like, this chick really tried to say maybe, oh, Christina, maybe she bipolar like her father. <laughs> Ava ain't shit. I'm going to tell you that right now. She ain't shit. But I'm like, why would you sit here and paint this scenario and paint this picture like Christina came there to attack you and she was being manic and she was this, 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 and this. I'm like, girl, all you had to do was tell these people the truth. The truth was on your side for once. That's all you had to do. Then she told me, oh, I didn't touch her. Miss Ma'am, you may not have pushed her. And I and I will say that much. She didn't push her. Now, you did grab her. <laughs> you did. You grabbed her, her arm, her wrist or whatever. But you ain't pushed her now. I, like I said, the truth would have been better at this stage. Because her creating this whole scenario in her head and staging the scene and all that to make it look like something popped off or Christine was coming at her, that's going to bite you in the ass later. It's, it's going to bite you because they're going to find out one way or the other. You know what I mean? You better hope Christina don't talk because you know once Christina gained her full faculties, it's on and popping. So, Miss Ava, you might want to you know just go ahead and recant that statement. I just found it to be dumb for her to be lying. I'm like, now why are you lying when the truth will do? Why? I mean, it's Ava, though. I feel like whether she tell the truth, whether she tell a lie, them people ain't going to believe her. Because Chase damn sure was looking at her like he didn't believe nothing that was coming out of her mouth. And Dante already didn't believe it. So that lie ain't working. So you might as well have just told the truth. Because even if they don't believe the truth, they ain't believing the lie either. So <laughs> it, it, it defeats the purpose of lying at this stage. Like, you just tell damn truth. Um... But I don't like them destroying the friendship between um, Ava and Trina. I don't like it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I can't stand it. But, I mean, maybe Trina has had rose-colored glasses where Ava's concerned. Because let's be real. Ava damn sure ain't no saint. But I do enjoy their friendship, though. And, I, and you know, I would love for Trina to kind of know everything about Ava, to get it out the way. But I want them to maintain that friendship, though. Because I love the chemistry between them. You know, they got that great friend, surrogate mother slash surrogate daughter kind of relationship. Um, I just hate that Portia really don't spend no time with Trina. Like they really don't write Portia as having no scenes with Trina, which is ridiculous. Especially after this chaos, you know Portia would have been marching her ass down to the PCPD and basically forbidden Trina to be around Ava. You already know it by now. Once well, she heard what was going on, so it's kind of weird that that's not happening. Um, 
And I don't know why Ava acting so surprised that they're trying to hold her. I'm like, yeah, they're not charging you, but technically they can hold you, I think, for like 72 hours or something. I think they could put her under, I think a, it's a 48 or 48 hour or 72 hour um, hold. So I think they can. You know what I mean? You know, until they get this thing sorted. So you might as well make yourself comfortable and make sure they put you in a cell by yourself because you don't want to be up in there with no roughneck now. As gorgeous as Ava is, one of them big burly bitches going to try her. Okay. <laughs> They're going to try to make you, you know, they bottom bitch. So you might want to, you know, make sure you got a cell by yourself. I'm just saying, because the county jail ain't no joke. You think prison is something? County? Oh, oh, I heard stories about the county. I ain't never been in no county or nothing like that. Don't want to be in the county. But I done heard about the county jail. You don't want to be up in there. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. You'll be somebody hoe. You'll be, you'll be clipping somebody's toenails and ironing their drawers by morning. I'm just saying, you don't go to the county. That should be a PSA for y'all to stay out of trouble. I'm just saying, because the jail and prison ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. It ain't no joke, joke. Especially when you cute. Oh, please don't be cute in the jail. Uh, you might want to look as ugly as humanly possible in that mode. I'm just saying, like, them big heifers. Oh, my God. Big Dorothy and them, they will be on your ass. You hear me? Mm -mm. They're going to be all making kissy noises at you. And Ava's too, mm, Ava too fab for that. Nope, Ava gonna have to fight for her life every day. She gonna have to fight for her virginity every day. They gonna take that flower. She gotta fight for her flower. Um. Anyway, moving on from that. Natalia. See, here's my thing. I don't like how they try to paint her as the victim in all this. You know, with that recording. Because I'm, I'm still trying to figure out, okay, so if she ain't gonna suffer no consequences, what the hell was the point in that, re that recording? What was the point of that going public if she's not going to face no backlash like that for it? Everybody just going to forgive and forget. What's the point? Because I was hoping for some fireworks when, once that got released to the public. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't, we ain't getting nothing. Not even no sparklers. Like, that is crazy. It, it, it was nowhere near 4th of July fireworks like I had hoped. And I don't even know why I keep getting my hopes up with these writers. Why? 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 You know the amount of backlash that would have happened if this if they wrote it how it really should have been written? Come on now. The backlash would have been... Because we know the LGBTQ community do not play, especially on social media. They would have been on her ass. They would have been five seconds off Natalia's ass, let me tell you. And the fact that we ain't got no media coverage over this like that, like... I mean, they said some people were saying bad things or whatever, but now nah, I want to see it. I want to see protests. I want to see the whole nine. I want to see the works. I want to see the whole nine yards. And the fact we ain't getting none of that, I'm like, absolutely not. I need to stop raising my, my hopes up with these writers. I, I need to. I, I set myself up for failure every time I do. Like, every time I see something decent about to happen, boom. It's just like the stock market. That shit crash instantly. Um... Because a part of me wanted to believe that Natalia wanted to get to know her daughter's way of life, you know, her way of living, being gay and stuff. I wanted, you know, I was hoping that she was sincere about it, but I, I, I don't think she really is. And I get it. You know, she was born a certain way. You know, Natalia was born in a time period where that wasn't acceptable. Like many of our relatives, they were born, you know, in the 60s or the 50s or the 70s. That shit wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't their way of life back then. That wasn't what they were taught to like it you know what i'm saying or to be cool with that that's why so many people were closeted back then you know you could probably get lynched back then even publicly coming out back in the day you know that wasn't acceptable so i get it you know i ain't gonna say she wasn't born that way like she wasn't taught that because she was that's like some people who were raised by racist parents that taught them to be racist and hate minorities you know what i'm saying they don't know why but that's what they were taught it's like that but they could change you know if they really want to you know they could change their way of thinking but Natalia, I don't know. I don't know. She seemed dead set on it. Like, I, I, I see that she trying to understand it. But it's obviously still hard for her. You know. And I didn't like the way she was acting at the hospital. You know, kept trying to pull Blaze out of there. Oh, this is a family thing. Let the family sit vigil. Ma'am, that is her woman. Who just went tumbling out of a damn window on a cheap ass out of a cheap ass window at that okay well ugly did you see them drapes that that ain't no three four star hotel that look like some shit that's at the super eight like what is the mm, carly and carly and olivia ought to be ashamed how y'all got that nice ass pool area but look at the drapes and the cheap window 
Mm. Anyway, um, <laughs> like, mm. but yeah, she's sitting there trying to pull her out that damn hospital. I'm like, leave that girl alone and let her sit with her with her lady family. Leave them alone. What are you bothering her for? Fool. Um. So anyway, moving on from that. I'm so over Natalia at this point. So anyway, moving on from that. Um, it's going to be a hot mess between Molly and TJ at this point. Because I, I ain't going to hold y'all. And I might go to hell for saying this, but I don't care because it's a TV show and these are characters. I'm happy that Christina lost the child. I'm, I'm happy. I, I think that was the best decision they made. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was thrilled about it. I ain't gonna lie, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I think it adds to the drama, and I feel like we seen this type of story before, and we don't need to see it again. You know what I'm saying? Just kill the child off, because TJ don't need to be connected to Christina for the rest of his life. He don't. But I feel like they got bigger problems ahead, because based off of TJ's conversation with Jordan, he's super pissed at Christina. He blames Christina for this. Based off of Molly's interaction, Molly's blaming Sonny for this. So, I'm guessing that TJ and Molly going to have some conflict over who the hell is to blame for all of this. I mean, it's um, it's par for the course. You know, I hate that Molly's relationship with Sonny had to lead to this because when she was younger, she used to love her some Uncle Sonny. Like, she was always happy to be around him. She was his biggest defender. You know what I'm saying? She loved her uncle. But as she got older and became an adult, a young adult, it's like she forgot Sonny was her damn uncle. She never, she stopped calling him Uncle Sonny. She just did not care for that man no more. And I think it's par for the course because, you know, of the issues that Rick and Sonny have always had. So I always figured that Molly and Christina would have issues or at some point Molly would have issues with Sonny because she feels like Christina wouldn't have been put in that position had Sonny not had his latest round of drama. You know, she felt like Christina was pulled into the more drama with him. But I have to agree with TJ on this. Christina's a grown ass woman. Nobody told her to go to Ava's hotel room. She shouldn't have went there knowing she pregnant, putting herself through that kind of stress. And Sonny already told her she may not have to testify anyway, because obviously he had a plan. And he told her, you, you don't have to testify. So if your dad is telling you that, why you get your ass up over there and go over there, knowing how dangerous you know, Ava is. Why you go there? So I feel like it's definitely going to be some issue. And you know what I'm tight about a little bit? That all of this is going on. And I highly doubt Sean is going to be mentioned. I hate that. Because I don't think Sean going to be a part of this at all. And where is Curtis? Nobody calling Curtis. Like, it's just a lot of missing pieces. Like, where Aunt Stella at? Is she going to get a mention? Is she going to get called? And come near? Which she should. Um... I just feel like it's it's a lot of moving parts to the story and it's going to be some missing people to the story. Um, Sonny need to understand something. He need to stop threatening people. Like once he found out Ava was somehow involved in it, here he go. Ava and Jagger, oh, they're going to pay. They're going to pay. I'm like, why are you saying that out loud in public? And why are you saying that to a cop? Even though that's your son, why are you publicly saying that to an officer? That's dumb. That is totally dumb. Um, it was cool though watching him go you know watching Sonny go to the roof I was a little nervous for a minute because I thought Sonny was going to off himself <laughs> but you know seeing him go to the roof to reflect on everything that everybody's been saying or the blame everybody's been putting on him it's been crazy Um, and I think that's where we're going to get the whole Ghost Morgan thing interaction but it's time for Sonny to you know see the error of his ways and see that his mind ain't right it's about time he did some reflection to see how much of a fool he been acting lately um i wonder what's going on with christina like was she having some bad reaction or something because she was just you know alexis sitting there going off trying to you know the damn monitors started beep 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 and i'm like what the hell going on with christina she going into cardiac arrest i like oh shit it's about to go down, even though I don't think she's going to die. But Lord knows we don't need to see her in no coma. We got enough people in comas. Um, but anyway, that was pretty much the whole episode. Um, hit the comment section. Let me know what you all thought. And I will see you all later. Have a great night. Peace. <laughs>